a good life. What does it require? After all, <laughs> that's what every human being wants, isn't it? A good life. But how can this be achieved? What does it take? A house, a car, a boat, and a beautiful wife or husband, and lovely children? <laughs> no, it's not like that of, that, of course. There are people who have all this and are still deeply unhappy. They may not appear to be on the outside and try to maintain a good appearance, but deep down they are very often very unhappy. On the other hand, there are also people who have nothing or very little on the outside, but are happy and fulfilled. But it is also not a precondition to own nothing to be happy. Millions of homeless people prove the opposite. So, what is the relationship between a happy life and external circumstances? Well, there is none. But there are very strong relationships between inner peace and the feeling of happiness. Simply put, if it's anxious on the inside, nothing what you have on the outside is ever good. And if it's calm inside, everything you have on the outside is always good. You can sit on the most beautiful beach in the world. If it's anxious inside of you, it's worthless. And you can sit in the middle of Berlin at the Alexanderplatz. <laughs> if you are peaceful inside, it's wonderful. If it's anxious on the inside, nothing what you have on the outside is ever good. And if it's calm inside, everything you have on the outside is always good. Simply put, but still true and above all very usable for everyday use. Assume for a moment that it's true. What would that mean for your life? Well, people invest so much energy and time in achieving or avoiding things on the outside. They buy things, they struggle in relationships, they earn money to buy holiday houses and cars. If only a fraction of this energy was directed at the innermost part of oneself, it would no longer need so much on the outside. If you focused 10% of your energy on your innermost being, 90% of the needs on the outside world would be unnecessary. And if you focused only 10% of your energy on your innermost being, 90% of your worries, needs and problems would also be eliminated as well. Think and above all feel about that for just a few moments. You know such special moments when you are so calm and steady inside. And can you remember what it took on the outside? Maybe you sat in the woods on a tree and the birds were singing. And just like that, you were satisfied and fulfilled. What was then needed on the outside? Right, nothing else. And vice versa. You also know those moments when you have achieved something that may have cost you a lot of money or energy. Then there was this first kick. But how long did it take until this was gone again and the search for the next outside achievement started once more? Right. It didn't take long. There. But how does that work? How can you manage it? What can you do to find this peace inside yourself, which makes it possible for the outside to lose its meaning? First of all, you have to take away the meaning from the outside, maybe just for a test period. Just risk letting go of all the distractions on the outside and becoming quieter, slower and calmer starting to look inside. If you do this, it is very likely that you will feel the restlessness inside you even more strongly. You're going to say, hey, this isn't working. I feel worse than before. So many people are failing at this point. 
Of course, at the beginning there is a lot of restlessness. It's a little bit like a drug withdrawal. The mind is running wild and wants to keep distracting yourself. Watch TV, date yourself, buy something, go to Facebook. This first time is very, very difficult and may last for a few weeks. But then after two or three weeks, a change happens. More and more often a peace and quietness appears in you, which is more beautiful than anything you could find on the outside. You will find deep peace within you, a source of fulfillment that surpasses everything you may have known. This process of pausing is called meditation. And how exactly that works I will tell you in the next video. With love, Dirk Liesenfeld.